shin is a category. Do I have a shin? Of course you do. Does a cow have a shin? Of course you do. Does Allah have a shin? Allah has it, but it's not like There you go. Allah has the category of shin. He shares that category with created things. The hadith says Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. So, what you just said is not what Allah is. Do you see? Yes. Does Allah see? Yes. Did you just compare? No, but it's not. That's not the same thing. Why is it not? It's not. In what way is Allah's vision different to your vision? I don't know. And yet the Quran claims to be clear guidance. How can you be clear guidance if the language that you're guiding with is totally meaningless? Do you see the contradiction? No, no, Do you not, see the double standard? Do you see the double it's standard? Not. Why would a God be, try to be like something he created? Right. He's a God. Why would, if, if I would be, uh, I don't know, uh, a prime minister. Prime minister. One second, bro. The question is not why. That's not the question. The question is can he? And according to Islamic yes. sources, he can. Yeah, he can. Do you agree? Yes, yes, he can. Great stuff. Yeah, yeah. You heard that, Dawagandists? Yeah, God can yeah. become a man. Yeah, but... Great Allah stuff. Can, in Islam, Allah can do whatever he wants. Now we've... Okay. A... Great, go on. But yeah. Allah have... Uh, uh, he's a God. Right. So why would he be a, his creation? Okay. Now that we've established... It's not about, you know, if he can. Brilliant. In Islam, whatever God wants... That is a fair do. question. And because, because we've established that God can, it's now fair for us to address the question of why would he? So let me answer that question. Because the vision of our God and the vision of your God are very different. Well, well what's your favorite? You my, my Christian. Okay, so yeah. why do you... Why well, do well you one second, let me, let me deal with your first question yeah, sure. and then I'll deal with your second question, sure. I assure. Let me answer your first, I'll answer your second. So our vision of God is very different from your vision of God. The essential characteristic, it, it is really, it really is. The essential characteristic of our God, the true God, is love. And the essential characteristic of Allah is power, sovereignty. Now, in our faith, well, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that because I think it is. Allah Malaki, remember? Now, in terms of, in terms of love, I don't know, you've got people in your life you love, I'm sure. Right? Like the people that you love most in this world. Am I right in thinking that there ain't nothing that you would do for them? Obviously, apart from blaspheming against Allah or insulting Allah. But in terms of normal things, is there any pain or hardship for the benefit of your family, your, your children or your wife that you wouldn't go through? Exactly. So if you love, you're willing to do the undignified. Is that correct? What do you do? So let's imagine, do a, a thought experiment with me. Let's imagine you go on to Colombia on holiday and some gang kidnaps your wife and says, we'll let her go, but only if you humiliate yourself in public. Would you humiliate yourself in public to get your wife back? Yes. There you go. So love allows you to do things that are not worthy of your dignity, agreed? But where does, uh, are we, um, I don't know where you're trying to get to, but... Uh, I think everyone you, else managed to put no, together. No, did you hear, did, no, 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 did you, no, no, did you, everybody I, else I understood? Wanna, I don't want to answer something, I, I might give you the wrong right. impression. So let, 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 let so me... So you're saying Islam asks people to humiliate themselves? No, I didn't say that. Yeah, no, that's why I'm saying, you know, so elaborate your question. You, you really got to pay attention to what I'm saying then. Because what I'm saying is, remember the question you asked me, why would God become a man? And we say that God would become a man because he loves you and he loves me enough to become a man. You say no. No, no, he, no, no, there's no, 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 no. Yeah. Because life to us is a test, right? According to Islam, yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty sure in Christianity it's a test as well. It's more than that, but go on. What is it about? Tell me. Right, I'll, I'll tell you. The point of life as a Christian is that through our lives we glorify God. That's the point of your life. Your life is here for one reason, on. to give God his glory. Not really. it's, not a, it's not an have examination. You read, have you read the Quran? No, no, wait, wait, wait one second. Because I'm not talking about the Quran. You're asking me about Christianity. I'm saying to you in Christianity, your life isn't a test. Your life is an opportunity. 
an opportunity given to you as a gift by God to glorify him. He's not standing there as heaven's sharp judicious judge to mark down what you hear do amiss. He's not here to catch you out because you didn't fulfill that fetish of his or that fetish of his. He's here to give you an opportunity to glorify him with your life. That's not what you said. You said in Islam, life is a test. Now, because my answer sounds better than yours, you want to steal my answer for Islam. But you didn't say that a minute ago, and it's on camera. Life is a test. No, it isn't. It is. Not according it's to Christianity. About what you do. I'm not talking about the prayers and stuff. 80% of the Quran is just about lifestyle. Don't steal. Don't lie. Am I wrong? Yes. It's not, it's, am I wrong? Yes. So you haven't read it though? No, no, I have. If you say if you're saying the Quran is not right in that aspect, then you're, you know, you're the Quran sure. makes mention to Allah's eyes, by the way. Can we, can we get the verse for him? So this is Surah 11, Ayah 37. Can I see it? Yeah. So Surah 11, Ayah 37, and build the ark under our watchful eyes. So you just said that in Islam we don't compare Allah to created things, but Allah has just compared himself to created things. Do you have eyes? Does Allah have eyes? Yes. There you go. But you don't compare him as a human being. Right. So hold on. So you're saying his eyes are not like our eyes? No. Right. It's a metaphor for seeing. A metaphor. So you're an, an Ashari. Al Ashari. You know the Salafists in the park say it's not a metaphor. It's a metaphor. Eyes. When I say. Not all Muslims say, agree with that. Not all Muslims agree with that. They, they, they're upset. One, one, the Salafist is correcting the Al Shari because Islam doesn't have a consistent theology about Allah. Doesn't have a consistent theology about Allah. Muslims come to the park every week trying to attack Christian doctrine, saying it's inconsistent. But yet, the reason why they've stopped talking to me and to one another is because Muslims can't agree about what it means when it says Allah has eyes. So I, I, after your little counsel, have you decided whether he's got eyes no, or not? No, they agree with me. Has he got eyes but or not? They're saying you're going off topic. So, you're so going off topic. does he have eyes? Eyes in terms of seeing, you're thinking like eyeballs. Jesus has I didn't say that. Again. That's what you're saying. You're I saying didn't eyes. say that. I did not say eyeballs. So you know when you say eyes, what does it mean? Go exactly. On. No, no, no. I'm, no, I'm this is you. the point. This is um, the you're point. You're trying to make. You're trying to make me. You're trying to make get the answer. We agreed. I know I'm sexy, <laughs> but I don't swing Listen, that way. You got to keep your hands to yourself. You're saying. You're saying. Yeah. Allah have eyes as in the same as a human being. Says the man standing but here. But you can't compare Allah to a human being. You right, can't. brilliant. You can't. So did you all hear that, he ladies sees, and gentlemen? Yes, he sees our action. He's do you watching, see? Do you he's see? He's definitely watching us now. Do you see? Yes. Does Allah see? Yes. Did you just compare? <laughs> no, but it's not. That's not the same thing. Why is it not? It's not. In yeah. what way is Allah's vision different to your vision? I don't know. You he don't know? He created me. I didn't create him. He exactly. So this gets to my point, bro. What's your name, by the way? AJ. AJ, AJ, okay, AJ, firstly, I want to thank you for a very polite, passionate conversation. I appreciate it, that's what Speaker's Corner is meant to be about. 100%. Thank you very much. And I thank you for your conduct and the way you conduct yourself. Yeah, but are you still, there's some arguments you still need to Hold on one second, hold on one second. Oh, we haven't finished. No, because you, you, I was only leading you to the sucker punch. Here's the sucker punch, right? If you're saying that anything we can think or imagine is not Allah, then when we talk about Allah's attributes, his eyes or his hands, he's not listening, so I'll talk to you guys, his eyes or his hands or his feet, then that means that that language is utterly meaningless language. And yet the Quran claims to be clear guidance. How can you be clear guidance if the language that you're guiding with is totally meaningless? That's your opinion. Now, so, would you like to jump into the conversation? No, no, no. I'm uh, oh, okay. sorry. I, I was showing you something. Of I course, know. you weren't listening. So let me repeat it for you again. Sure. According to the hadiths, Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. True. True. So I'm not lying about Islam right now, am I? No, no, no. Telling the truth, being fair. Yeah, no, no. Great. But just think about the logical consequence of saying that. If you're saying Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine, then when the Quran says Allah has eyes like it does, then that word doesn't mean anything. Because what does eyes mean? 
<laughs> it means he can see. But that's, that's the thing. But you're, that's thinking, some... you're thinking about something physical. Do you think, no, hold on, hold on. Do you, when you said you can see, would you agree that what you've just done there is had a thought and imagine? Yeah, but it's there you like, go. But yeah, but it's not like something you can imagine. There you go. Now listen. No, what he means, as in whatever you imagine is wrong. Exactly. Yes. And do you think that vision, seeing, is something that you can think and imagine? Right. So Allah's yeah, eyes are okay. not that. Okay. So what does it mean to say Allah has eyes? Because it's okay. not what you just said. Yeah, but then look, what I'm trying to say is you're thinking about eyes, okay? No, you said be, it. I know you someone, said vision, I not me. Some, I know someone can be seeing me right now, but I, know, I don't see them. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean they, they, they can't see me. Hold on, hold on. Did you just think and imagine that scenario? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> right, but uh, but the hadith say... Technically, yes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so the, It's like someone watching. Exactly, so hadiths yeah. have just told... But I don't know what that person looks like. Brother, brother, AJ. The hadiths say it's Allah is not like anything you can think or imagine. Yes. So... What you just said is not what Allah is. His eyes are not what you've just said. So, try again. What does it mean when it says Allah has eyes? It means he's, he's like so what's someone watching you. Someone it's watching like you. Someone watching you. Can you think or imagine someone watching you? Yeah, that means you have to be careful with your actions. Right. You so have to know, it's you know, not like someone watching you there. No, hundred percent. So go back to your. So those hadiths that say. And Islamic teachers that teach you that Allah is not like what you can think or imagine, no, they're wrong. See, no, no, no. When they're wrong. Say that, when, when, when the hadith that says that God is You know God, it exists. Yeah, no, we know 100%. And, and in the Quran it also says the same, doesn't it? Do you believe your God exists? Yes, of course. Can you see him? N um, we, we believe in the beatific vision, yeah. Do you think he sees you? Yeah, of course. Okay, that's the same concept. Right, now, no, hold on one second. No, it's it isn't. the same concept. Now, let me... You can't see him, but he can see you. Let me explain why that is concept. not the same concept. Go on. Let me explain why it is not the same concept. Because in the Christian faith, we believe that there are two touch points of reference in our discourse about God. The fact that we are made in the image of God and the fact that God became a man in Jesus Christ. Which means that... When we say, we talk about God's vision, or God's hands, or God's feet, we have a point of reference in the created world yeah, but that's to make... Well, let, um, yeah, yes, and I'm explaining why it's different from what you're saying. Because you tried to defend Islam by saying we have the same concept, which only shows you don't know what Christianity teaches. Because we don't have the same concept. We have a radically different concept from Islam. We say that we are made in the image of God, that God became a man, and so we can speak meaningfully about God's vision, God's sight, God's uh, hands, God's heart, God's love. But in Islam, you have this contradictory teaching. On one hand, you're told in the Quran and Hadiths that Allah is not like anything that you can think or imagine but on the next on the next side is the contradiction which says that Allah has eyes and Allah has hands and Allah has sight and Allah has heart. what does that mean to see it's the same concept saying your God looks at you did you all hear that the same concept no no wait wait the same concept yes but you just said it's not the same concept you see your God right now did you did you understand you see your God right now do you see it do you see your God? Do you see your God right now? Where there is love, there is God. Where we see the energia of love, we see the activity of God. Right? It's the same. No, if your God it really isn't. I'm not. Go on. If you're saying your God sees everything, right? He's, he's watching you now, no? Yeah. Can you see him? No. But we see the energia of God. Now let me let me let me let me just explain to you what you did, right? And brother, there's no point denying it because we, we can do a flashback on the camera. When I pressed you, I know you know I know you're not. You're you, you are a decent human being. I'm having a decent conversation with you, yeah, and I appreciate it. I genuinely do, right? But you said, and maybe it was a slip of the tongue, when I pressed you about what does it what does vision mean? You said it's the same concept when we were comparing what you the said about human vision oh, to Allah's vision. No, no, no. I meant the same way your God sees you, 
my God sees me. I don't see him, but he sees me. Right. But bro, when we say as Christians, God sees us, we are talking about something that is a facsimile to our vision. Why? Because we are created in the image of God. So that language means something in our religion. But, I think, uh, but your religion, because of this principle that is not like anything you can think or imagine, means that the eyes, hands are all meaningless terms. Meaningless terms. When, when we say God is nothing you can imagine, we mean physically. The way he looks. Ah. It means you can't imagine what he, what he looks. So God has a shape. You don't know, it's nothing you can imagine. See, you're going back to the physical aspect. One second. What he yeah, looks like. Yeah. But we don't know, there's nothing you can imagine. That's what, that's what they mean by it's nothing like you imagine. In the Quran, in the Quran it says that no vision can encompass him, but he encompasses all vision. And that on the day of resurrection, some of the believers will have their face brightened to see their Lord. Agreed? Do you need me to show you? Yes. Right. Let me, let me, it also says in the Quran, uh, sorry, the Hadith, it says on the day of judgment that everything that a person worships will come to him in a shape and they will follow what they worship. So the people that worship the moon will follow the moon. The people that worship the cross will follow the cross. And then Allah will come to his people in a shape and they'll no, say, no, 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 this no. is what your hadith say. Can we, can we try and find no, the hadith about hadith. the judgment? That's a mad hadith. So, yeah, it is a mad hadith and it's in your hadith. No, but you have to, you have to see credibility. Knowledge. I'll show it you. I wasn't lying before, I'm not lying now. I've done this for six years. I've shown this hadith to people. Can we find the Allah coming in a shape on Judgment Day? It's quite a long hadith, right? Okay, so my point to you is that the Quran is saying, sorry, the hadiths are saying that Allah does have a shape. Right, can we pull it up? No, 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 no. I'm going to show you, right? Here we go. So it's in. Uh, does it give the reference? Uh, you know what? I can read Arabic. So show me the Arabic a bit. There you go. It's somewhere down here. Somewhere down at the bottom. Do you mind? All right. It wasn't my phone to give you. Oh, sorry. And your prophets was the best example it's for all mankind it's only in all time. Remember, it's a lost age. It's only in the past 100 Now you're an honest man, AJ. So when you get to the bit that says he comes in a shape. I mean, if I believed in Muhammad, I would say yes. It's Muhammad is Muhammad the prophet. My point is your prophets got the message of the seven century of God. How's that, Adam? You got to it yet? I'm talking about the hadith. I'll show you from the hadith. Don't show you from the hadith. I know. Okay, so you know it. So why are you asking me? Does it say it? Does it say it, bro? Is it an Islamic website? Yeah. This is in your sources. And the reason why it's problematic. Are you, have you, are you finished reading? Okay. So, so the point is, we showed you a hadith where it says Allah comes in a shape. But a shape is a created thing. Would you agree? Shapes are created. It's a faculty of creation. Here's God. What do you mean? God definitely has a shape. Yes. God but definitely has a yeah, shape. but we don't know what it is. You can't think of it. You can't imagine. But it's is it nothing like you can imagine or think of? Would you agree that shape is a category of creation? No one created God. Didn't say that. So how Didn't can, even suggest so that. Who create, if no one created God, how can you say the shape is created? I'm pointing out the logical contradiction of your sources. That's why I'm pointing out to you, bro. The reason why the reason why my argument doesn't make sense is because the sources don't make sense. Not everyone, not everyone that writes means he's credible. Right. But this is. Can we get the reference there? What reference? Sahih al Bukhari. I need to check. Seven four three seven. Now the point is. The point is. Allah has a created shape, and a created shape is something that you and I have. See, when you use the term created, yeah. in Islam is wrong because no one created God. So, 
Is cre is shape a cre a of the created order? Do you have shape? Does Allah have? No, big difference. What? What? Big difference. What? Wait one second. What does this word shape mean when it applies to Allah? You don't know. That's the thing. You're there you go. Me something I can't think of. That's my point, bro. That's what I'm trying to get through to you. Is that your Allah is an entity? Wait, you're missing the point that I'm making. You can't say Allah has a shape. We Allah no. is an entity. Muhammad said Allah has a shape. No, no, no. I showed you the hadith. No, I showed you the hadith. No, no, who was it? Who was it? If it no, wasn't Muhammad, who was it? I will show you. It's who was it? Called Ibrahim. It's someone called Bra uh, Abraham, but it's not Muhammad. I'll show you. No, Abraham was quoting Muhammad. What's a hadith? What's a hadith? Come on, bro. Don't play. Don't play takia with me. What, what? It's some, it's sometimes it's someone off no, no, saying, about Allah, quoting Allah, the prophet. Allah. Yes. It's someone quoting the prophet. Let me read it. Yeah, read it let's read it. <laughs> On the authority of Abu Huraya, the people said, oh, Allah's messenger, shall we see our Lord? Who, who, sorry, who's speaking? Who's the question being addressed to? The people said, oh, Allah's messenger. Who's Allah's Muhammad? messenger? Yeah, no, wait, yeah. wait, wait. No, shall wait. we see our Lord? Who's our Lord? Allah. They're asking the prophet. Right, yeah, yes. yeah, about yes. their Lord. On the day of resurrection, the Prophet said, Do you have any difficulty Sorry, in Sorry, who is speaking? So this is Muhammad replying back to oh, them it's Muhammad about speaking. Allah. Go on. Do you have any difficulty in seeing the moon on a full moon's night? They said no. Allah's ju Muhammad's just compared Allah, seeing Allah to seeing the moon. Yeah. And it gets worse. Do you have any difficulty in seeing the sun when there are no clouds? They Muhammad's no. just compared seeing Allah to seeing the sun. And here we go. Listen, listen, listen. That's listen, what here, Muhammad listen, just listen, said. Listen. Yeah. And they said, they said oh, Allah's message. And he said, you, so he said, so you will see him like that. Like that. Why is Allah okay. being compared to something you say as a shape? Okay, okay. Do you want me to answer you? This is in your hadith. When, when they Bukhari. say, when they're going to yeah. say Allah like the sun, it means it's obvious. No, it it means doesn't mean, no, no, no see, you're thinking no, about the shape. So you you're thinking about the shape. Listen, oh, one second. Yeah. He said, let, 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 no, you're not letting me finish my point. Let, 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 let him finish and then reply. Okay, you know when the moon comes out or the sun comes out, you see it, okay? It's behind the cloud, you can't really see the shape. Let's say if you've never seen the sun before in your life, okay? But you know that's the sun, right? It, that's not the moon, okay. is it? even though you can't directly yeah, see it. It's visually identifiable. Yeah, it means okay. it's obviously there. It, it, that's obviously the sun. And it has nothing sun. to do with the form. No. Right, so why right. does it say... <laughs> Go on. <laughs> so do you have any difficulty in seeing the moon? Right, no. And then it, it, it does the same comparison with the sun. Yeah. And then it says, so you will see him like that. Why is he talking about in what way? He's when, saying that the way that you like can identify that, it means obviously you can see him. Right, you'll see him in the As in, you can see him clearly. No, no, can just come to the bit about the shape, bro, because that's what he's talking about. Oh, here we go. See, we'll see him. Listen to what he's got to say. The bit about the shape. Whoever worships something in the world should follow that thing, so that whoever worships the sun will follow the sun. Whoever worships the moon will worship the follow the moon. And whoever used to worship certain other false deities, they will follow those deities. And sure, will remain only the. Only the notion with its good people, the hypocrites, the... It's the bit that's emboldened in black. But are you convinced by my point? If I, if I see you standing at the end of the park, and I can, and I say, I, I can it. see I you like it. the sun, what does that mean? It. it means you're Bro. standing out, Bro. I can see you clearly. Bro, you, you had it. Mean you look Just like find it sun. again, find it again. Take your time, yeah. find it again. Because yeah. you did have it, I, I did read it. Anyway, bro, listen, I've been here for a few... All right, bro, what's... Uh, AJ, AJ... It was nice to meet you, bro. It was really nice to meet you as well. Really love nice the conversation. Brother, can I ask you, do you have a Bible? Do you have a Bible? No. I'd like to give you a gift. I give everyone I have yeah, a nice sure. conversation to a gift. I'd like to give you a Bible. Mind. Could you hold that a minute? It's please? a book of God. Amen. Amen. And what I would like to say to you, bro, is, right, try to read this Bible uh, apart from everything that Muslims say about it, right? We don't have anything. See, but you think we have a problem with Christianity. We don't. If anything, Jesus is our prophet. Yeah. So, so we believe in him as much as you do. I mean, we could get into another debate about a different topic there. No, 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 no. But I don't want to. We can't, look, we can't not believe in Jesus. Yeah. He's our prophet. Yeah. Okay. So here's my gift to you, AJ. Thank you very much I for a nice question. And then come back with your toughest if you questions. A, if you have a Quran, I would... Uh, I've got, would I've got three or four now. But come back with your toughest questions. I will, I will. And bring one me your day, hardest questions. Day, but just to show you, look. It says it right here. Then Allah will appear in such a shape no. that they can recognize him. That's what your hadith say, yeah. Muhammad That's said. Like God is an entity. God is an entity. Agreed. Okay. Yeah, well, I would actually well, say it's beyond entity. We don't know what the entity 
is. I would we say it's beyond entity. We don't know that entity. Is. Yeah. We don't know what kind of shape it takes. Yeah. It's nothing like you've imagined or I thought. But or but it is a shape. Yeah, I'm, I don't know, but I don't know. That's the thing. But you're it asking, is a shape. But you are, there you go. you're asking me something. I it says I can't think of. And, and that, I can't even exactly. Imagine. And my point to you, my, my point to you that I want you to take away is that Islamic revelation is meaningless because you have words that don't mean anything about God. Everything means. But you know what? The, but nothing that you, you can think to, or imagine. No, no, no. But I'm gonna be completely honest with yeah. you. Yeah. You have to always know that there is a language barrier. Yes, of course. Quran is written in Arabic. I know. And people try to understand it in English. Yeah. They always because some words have a lot of meaning. And that's why I always try to use translations given by Arab Muslims. That's a good point. All right. Anyway, take you look care, after man. yourself, AJ. Take care. God bless. Okay. So, guys, what we heard today is that there is an obvious contradiction within the teachings of Islam. Yeah. An obvious contradiction, right? Let me, in fact, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, guys, so Muslims believe that Allah has this attribute called light that limits another attribute called his glory. If Allah can limit one attribute by another attribute, then their Muslims have no argument about the idea that God can limit himself to become a man. Because if in Islamic sources, Allah can limit himself, as we showed, then Muslims have no argument in that in Christian sources, we believe God limits himself to take to himself a human nature. And the reality is, Muslims can't have it both ways. They can't say that the veil of light restricts the attribute of Allah's glory while saying that Christians can't believe that God can limit himself to take on a human nature. But it gets worse. The reality is that because of Islamic teaching that Allah is not like anything that he created, then all of those descriptions of Allah that we find in the Hadiths and that we find in the Quran talking about his eyes, talking about his hand, talking about his feet, talking about his shin. These are all meaningless words. Words that are absolutely devoid of meaning in a book that claims it is clear guidance. The theology of Islam about God is a vacuum, an unknowable God unknowable because he never interacts with his creation and he only ever sends messengers into that creation. The Christian God, by contrast, interacts with the created world and that is why we can speak meaningfully of God. How are we doing guys? I see that what I was saying Sorry, Got a bit of a conversation going. Uh, she, she was saying how she doesn't believe that Allah is compared in terms of body parts. Yeah, on yeah. the day when the dreadful calamity will unfold, when people will be summoned to prostrate themselves and yet they will not be able to prostrate. Uh, that has nothing to do with his shame. Uh, so what? Uh, are you exactly saying? Are you what saying? You sorry, sorry, because that's not. The sorry, bro, bro, right. bro. Sorry, sister. We only have one. Are you saying that Allah? Are you saying yeah, that? Are you do. saying that Allah doesn't have a face or a shin or eyes or hands in the Quran? He has. If but he does, but we have not seen it. Right. right. So the point that I was making, the point that I was making, right. is that the Quran talks about Allah having eyes and shins and hands and feet. Do you know the? Do you know the Let me let me explain. Yes, I can show you the verses. Let me explain what my point is, right. so that we can have an intelligent conversation. Okay. That these words, according to Islamic doctrine, are completely meaningless. Because you don't know what they are. And you can't say what they are. And you can't describe them in any way. In fact, anything that you can think or imagine that they are, they're not, by definition. Which means that the Quran is full of meaningless descriptions of Allah. I still didn't get right. Now, would you like me to still show you the verses? Would you like me to still show you the verses? This is like Quran.com. Yeah, okay. So this is the ayah 42. It says, Beware of the day of the shin of Allah will be bared, and the wicked will be asked to prostrate. Yeah. Well, they you don't realize that they're not talking about the literal shin of Allah is metaphorical. 
No, no, no. You're talking about. Do you take everything away? No, one second. You can one second. Guys, 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 guys. Let's try to have an intelligent conversation. It does. It does literally talk about himself. It literally does. So, are you saying that Allah doesn't have a shin? Allah doesn't have what? Are you saying Allah doesn't have a shin? A shin. A shin. A shin. No, a shin, not a chin. Huh? Shin. You know that? A shin. I, I don't know. He didn't, he didn't tell us. So, we only know what he revealed to us. So what? Uh, so does he have a shin or not? We don't know if he has a ah, shin or not. So there you go. Yeah. So hold on one second. No, 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 That's my that. point you that I'm making to you, man. No, you don't even know what my point is. No, you haven't even heard my point. Like, tell me what my point is and I'll show you that you're wrong. You're saying something about limiting glory and attributes and then you're just making a uh, something that doesn't have a conclusion. That was an earlier uh, point. That's not the point I'm making here. Okay, what wait, point wait, are you wait, making wait. now then? There you go, you didn't listen. Listen. Right, I'll so listen you now. don't understand my point. Do you have a leg? So now wait, let me wait, now that no, stop being rude. Stop being rude. Okay, do you have a leg? Right, so let me have 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 let me address my point to you, sister. Do you have a leg? Yes or no? So the Quran says that Allah has a shin. Do you have a leg? Yes or no? Says he has hands. Says he has eyes. Let me finish. You're still not listening. You're still not listening. Less emotion, yes more no? intellect, it'll help huh? everybody. Do you have a shin, okay? yes or no? Don't so, speak to her. in terms, in terms of, in terms of, how unchivalrous this yes. man is, how unchivalrous, uh, and how rude yeah. to the woman. No, no, no. Uh, do you have, you have the right yes to no? a conversation. Don't do, let this bigot uh, no, no, try to, uh, don't uh, let this misogynist. Uh, uh, right. He's not being misogynistic. Right. So, uh, he's being very unchivalrous. So, Allah has a shin. That's what the Quran says. But you've just said, you've just said, we don't know what that means. Even, 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 but the Quran even, even, says even, 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 it is clear even, guidance. Even, if you don't know what it means, it's not clear means. guidance. Huh? Right. That's in my point. In conclusion, when they talk about the shin, they mean it in a metaphorical sense. Oh, I notice sense. you're not interrupting now. Huh? I Suddenly you went quiet. No, Suddenly you went quiet. He just said it in a literal way. I agree to the... But the just, no, no, I'm listening to her. The Stop being rude. Words Sorry, go on, sister. Do you take everything in a literal sense? Right. Do you take all sentences in their literal so, sense? So, so let me address We that don't point. know what Allah looks like. Yeah. We don't know at all. There was one prophet yeah. who got a glimpse of Allah, yeah. and there were mountains that were like, destroyed. You know, Moses. Away. Moses. Yes. yes. And Ibn Kathir He's said it was because him. the fingertip of Allah touched the mountain. That's what Ibn Kathir says. It's not like That's what Ibn Kathir says. You have the same fingertip right. as an animal. But the point the is, but the point is, that means that Allah, that means that Allah entered his creation. That means that Allah entered his creation. That means that Allah entered his creation. Entered his creation? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, now, now. Okay, so my point is, my point to you is, that these descriptions that we find in the Quran are totally meaningless descriptions. They are meaningless words. According to logic, what logic? I'll, I'll explain logic? it to you. My logic is different if than you, yours. If you, her logic is different no, than yours. No, logic is universal. No, no, no. What do you mean? No, it's logic is universal. No, no, no. It's not universal. Let's 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 do this I like intelligent universal. people. Okay, uh, give less me an emotion. Example. Let me give me an example. Less emotion. Give me an example. Less emotion. Uh, give more give intellect. Example. Less emotion. Give me an example. More intellect. Give me an example. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. Okay, give me an example. I'm going to give you an example. Okay. Okay. It, Your time? Quran that we just no, no, read. No, 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 you don't get to, no, you, get you to, don't you get, said, no, uh, what, what no, do you mean, no, no, uh, what do you, mean, no? you don't get you really to dictate the, the example, you, didn't tell me what to do. you don't get to dictate yeah, the example, you, mean, and you, didn't tell me what to do. you just try to do uh, it to me, uh, practice uh, what you preach, no, now, as uh, I was saying, what, what saying, your Quran states mm -hmm. that Allah has a shin. Uh, okay. What does that mean? Okay, one second. Okay. Now, do you have a shin, yes or no? I have a shin, yes. Uh, okay. An animal have a shin, yes or no? Many animals uh, have a shin. Does it look alive? No, they don't. Okay. Allah has a shin, but it's not like we've seen. We never okay. seen it. So, uh, one second. Uh, it's a special uh, shin. It's a special shin, but it sits in the category of shins. That's the point. It's a type of shin. He has a hand. You see, you're not even following the logic. You're not even following the logic. You're too emotional. Calm down. Drink less coffee. Don't get excited. There's nothing to be afraid of. This is just a nice conversation. Yes, you do. You're shivering. Now, now, let, let me explain, bro. What you did just then on camera is what you did is you created a category of shin and then you put 
two animal shins in that category and then Allah's shin in that category and you said are that you they animal? just don't are look alike. He said that I just did you all hear, did you follow the logic? I did, uh, I did you say, follow the logic? I say two animals. Right. Huh? Yes, you did. Have an animal. I, I, yes, you did. No, I compare so, you with an animal. So, I, I didn't say two so animals. shin, huh? shin I didn't say is a category. Animals. I, I do I have a shin? Uh, of course you do. Does a cow have a shin? Of course you do. Does Allah have a shin? Uh, Allah has it, but it's not you know, like... There you go. Allah, Allah has, has the category of shin. He shares that category with created things. Boom! It's not a contradiction Right, so what is, what is the shin? What is the shin of Allah? That's what I'm saying. We don't know. We don't, we don't know. Everything we know what he so revealed to us. So the word huh? is meaningless. Huh? Well, what do you mean it's meaningless? Because it doesn't communicate anything. Huh? Yep. No, because we do not know how. What does how it communicate? Huh? What does it communicate? What do you mean? What? Does what? It mean? So I'll explain exactly what I mean. Okay. I am saying that if you devoid the word shin entirely and completely of all conceivable meaning, then the word shin is equivalent to the word blah. It is a blah. So saying that Allah has a shin is the equivalent of saying Allah has a blah if the word shin doesn't mean anything. Who believe God came from a private party? So answer that question. Do you want the common sense? Do you want the common This guy's obsessed with genitalia. This guy's obsessed with genitalia.